Well, I think we all as humans experience trauma. Trauma is trauma. I think for them, the difference perhaps is that the trauma never ends. Uh, I, I don't know that there's very, there's very much time where they get to just be. Here at Full Circle Exchange, we are so excited to have art therapy as part of our refugee job readiness program. One of the most important things about Full Circle Exchange is creating a community environment. And so for our art therapy day, we started off with a bus ride. It was so much fun. So a big bus came and picked up all the women and a few of us, Full Circle, an organization that helps heal women through art. So the Art Barn is this really funky, beautiful place that was created for women to feel safe and to be able to express themselves creatively. One of the great things that art therapy does is that it creates an environment where people who don't have language to express their trauma now have this amazing language through color and texture and painting and drawing. They're now for the first time able to express themselves. So take, for example, a woman refugee who her whole life has been nothing but trauma and surviving, and then all of a sudden she gets a moment to pause. And through this art, she kind of gets to zone out, if you will, and, and let her mind be at peace. And in that moment, she has these creative tools through art to express herself feelings that maybe she's had for many, many years and has never been able to express those. They were asked to create this journal using stick figures. And it was so fantastic because the women who, who couldn't speak to me and tell me about it could speak to me through their pictures. And there was one woman in particular that shared a story um, that was actually quite traumatic. She showed these stick figures um, dragging her mother off and killing her father and her brothers and sisters and showed her standing there. And I thought, God, for the first time, this young girl had a chance to, to talk about her story to someone here and feel safe and have a way to do that through these pictures. Because I would have never known that this girl had this story. I would have never known. So that's what's so beautiful about art is it opens up this window to all of a sudden she can talk, she can speak, she can, we can have communication. I can tell her how I feel, she can tell me how she feels through these pictures, through a color that represents joy to her. It's phenomenal, it's, it's incredible. But you saw women who were nervous and shy and withdrawn and after creating art and playing, they were happy, giddy, open, um, talking more than I've ever seen them talk. They were laughing so hard, they were rolling on the ground. I have never seen these refugees react this way. The women on the way home, they were exhausted, exhausted, exhausted. And what I kept hearing over and over was this was one of the best days they've ever had in their life. In their life. That one day created that sort of memory, that sort of therapy, if you will, to actually say that it was one of the best days of their life. That's really saying something.